As I look into this next recipe we have for you now, I think about how many times I enjoy my chili with maple syrup or even like a maple bar, but chocolate? All right, here we go, everybody. Chef Gretchen Allison, duck soup in. We've heard about this legendary icon of a hangout in the San Juan Islands in Friday Harbor. Hot chili, chocolate soup. I am excited to put these two great tastes together, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, yeah, you can turn these pans turn these, on. Get, get these going. And we'll start with the, um, the vegetables. And if you could put some olive oil sure. in this pan. Okay, about so, a quarter cup. And you've got mirepoix, just a classic mirepoix there. Yeah, yeah, carrot, celery, and onion. Perfect. And you want to uh, caramelize these vegetables. Oh, okay. Nice and dark. All right, so nice high heat and a little bit of salt. Yeah, the okay. idea with everything that we put in here is to get a dark roasted flavor going. Brown. Ooh, like okay. <laughs> And was yeah. everything here, Gretchen, this is based like a Mexican mole sauce? Is yeah, that right? mole. Mole. Mm -hmm. That's always yeah, mole, Mexican not mole. mole. That's exactly what mole. this is fashioned after. Okay. Yeah. So here is uh, cumin and fennel, some bay leaf out of the garden, uh -huh. and uh, some hot chili. Now, do you guys have a garden at the restaurant? Do you uh, do yeah, a I've got a garden at my house. And oh. um, actually, my parents' house. We live, I live next door to them. And uh, so we do herbs and edible flowers for the restaurant. Oh, nice, nice. Wow. Nice. And then is there somebody that grows your vegetables in the summer months? Um, that well, come uh, off island or? there are a lot of farmers. So in the summer, it's tough in the spring, but in the summertime, we get a lot of our, our nice. produce right, locally right. and meats too. Can you turn this burner sure. on? We'll roast okay. these chilies. Look at these those. are poblano peppers, and you just put them right on the heat. Look at that. So if somebody doesn't have a gas grill, I mean a gas stove, stove. Broiler. you could do it on the grill outside or a broiler? Mm -hmm. Okay. So these are already toasting, so I wow. think you could, uh, ooh, hot. Turn hot that down. You could, uh, yeah, you could turn that off, actually. Okay. And we'll just let it sit there, but they'll right. be fine. That'll head into the pot. Anyways, yeah, so you want to get that little We're black char. Over there. Look at all that. <laughs> okay. So now, what's the best, what are you looking for when you're charring Charred peppers like black that? black all over, but just the outer skin. So you want to turn them a lot, because if you leave them on one spot too long, yeah. it'll burn through and it just makes oh. cinders out of the whole okay. thing. You okay. want to hang on to the flesh underneath, but, no uh, but, but get, the, get rid of the skin. So okay. I have some here that I've already done. Right. And um, you can take a paper towel or your hands and just oh, look at that. rub right off that skin. Okay. And here's the paper oh, okay. towel for Thanks. you. Thanks, that's better. There you go. That makes such a mess. So just wipe off that charred skin, mm -hmm. and then I just tear it open, pull the top out, and pop that into the pot. Okay. Oh. So a few seeds are okay? A few seeds are fine, adds a little heat. Now um, is this if pepper have, spicy? Uh, not very, okay. not very. For you viewers. Yeah. I mean, it's a little warm. The more seeds you put in, the hotter it's going to be. But you want a little heat here. Especially you in these winter months. Out. This mm -hmm. gray. We want the gray to go away. Okay. In that goes. Okay. Oh, Wet towel for Wet you. Towel. And you can, just, you can just dump it all right there. Okay. Perfect. Now, how long Clean have you been up in the go. islands, I have to ask? What a paradise there at the Friday Harbor. What was the question? How long have you been in the islands, Friday Harbor? I've been there for 23 years. Good for you. Yeah, bought the restaurant back then, and we've been going ever since. So in go oh, the nice. spices. Okay. And wow, um, beautiful. This normally I'd want to get this browned, but since there's we're short on time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, so deglaze with a dry white wine. Mm -hmm. So normally you caramelize the veggies, get yeah. everything to brown. Mm -hmm. Get everything to brown. Then you want the you want the the sweetness that okay. the, that gives to the vegetables. So deglaze with some wine. This okay. is a brewed coffee. Wow. Coffee? So that's another dark wow. roasted flavor that you're getting in there. In chili, coffee. And wow. um, tomato. This is canned tomato, canned crushed tomato. Okay. Best flavor. Uh, these are toasted walnuts. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So in uh, Mexico, you might use peanuts, or you could do cashews, or sometimes uh, sesame seeds. Roll those over. Thanks. Yep. Nice. Oh, it's looking good. So this is some lime zest. Uh huh. And uh, black cocoa. This is uh, this cocoa is powder? this is the Oreo cocoa. <laughs> this is the cocoa that makes Oreos taste the way they do. Oh my gosh. Yeah, did you I, taste I, that? I didn't know. Yeah. Don't lick your finger. Oh, you did. <laughs> so what kind of that? Cocoa is this? It's a very a Dutch process. It's very alkaline. So it's the Dutch process. That's Dutch, but cocoa. really, really dark. Where do you find wow. that? Wow. That's a King Arthur flower catalog. Okay, I have to go to catalog. It's yeah. in the book. It's in the cookbook. 
and okay. um, some water to cover. You could use okay. chicken stock if you wanted to, but this has got so much flavor going on with the vegetables and things. You can you can make this soup vegetarian or it's vegan actually so until you put Mexican the creme fraiche stock. on it. That's Mexican stock for this segment. The mole, she was Instead talking about that earlier. <laughs> stock on the wow, that's amazing how black that cocoa is. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> so um, you just want to get the vegetables kind of swimming around in there nicely. Okay. Um, don't get it too thin because then you'll have a watery soup. Yeah, those look great. When those are, uh, yeah, just a little, a little bit, bit more, more on the tip. When those are uh, blackened, put them in the bowl and we'll pop this plate on top okay. to steam them. To show the just steaming? To, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. huh. um, so everything is in here for mm -hmm. now, and you just want to boil that for, simmer it for about a half an hour until the vegetables are soft. Okay. The, okay. Carrots, um, the carrots are the hardest thing in there, and they, will, they need some time. So once the carrots are soft, we can puree? Yes. Okay. Yes. And then when you puree, do you worry about No, nope, that all goes in. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it all goes in. Okay, great. So we've got a pot back there that's okay. uh, got the finished soup. I'll take this. It's not quite finished. And then let's do these guys. Okay. Mm -hmm because these are great. Look, they're starting to... Perfect. Mm -hmm. So they I've seen people so use plastic wrap on top of this, and yeah. which you shouldn't do because the plastic wrap, you just don't want hot steam against the plastic wrap. It's going to drip back down in. So I just like a plate. You could also use a paper bag. Throw them in a paper bag and roll it up, and in 10 minutes the skin will come off really easily. Oh, is there okay. any air, do you think, getting in there, or is that you want that sealed? Just sealed. Steam. Just, just sealed for steaming, yeah. And okay. then it can sit there for, you know, however long you'd like. Okay. Okay. Um, so we're going to do the final seasoning on this already pureed batch. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm going to put in some lime juice. Oh, how nice. Do you want oh. a whisk? Um, you know, I forgot one of the ingredients in the, in the main one. Okay. Let's see, where is it? What's that? And what are you looking oh, it's for? Oh, it's a little pan of herbs. It must be this one. It's got oregano and cilantro. Oh. So in that goes too, to the, main, so, the main dish. The, so it's oregano and cilantro uh -huh. go in whole. Just go just in, to yeah. It's all, it'll all get pureed. It'll be okay. nice and smooth. Great. Okay, and so I didn't forget anything else. Okay, okay thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so a little awesome. bit of uh, lime juice. A little mole facial here. For okay. balance, you know, when you have something hot, having something spicy in there is nice. Right. Uh, this is uh, chocolate. This is a Calibo semi-sweet chocolate, but you can you can use regular chocolate chips. You know, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's fine. Just don't. I mean, well, even milk chocolate would work. Oops. Do you want? Sorry. Uh, so it's a. You use the dark. Yeah, this is a dark semi-sweet. So if you don't have uh, semi-sweet chocolate on hand, you could get a little sweetness by throwing in some raisins. That oh, would be very okay. traditional. Great. So, more chocolate. Now, do you have, at your restaurant, do you have kind of a mixed, do you have a variation of menus or dishes from yeah, around the world? Yeah, I try to change things all the time. And, do you travel? Um, do you travel to find more taste? Travel quite a lot, yep. We've and been, then bring it back been to the all islands. over the place, yep. So you guys, and you, the, the way she can do that is she gets five months off out of the year. Is that tour season? We're, uh, just, yeah, is we're that seasonal. Slow? Wow. We're seasonal. In the winter, oh, it's so quiet there. It As must a be chef, healthy, though, because job. you've been there for so long. Wow. Yeah, it works. So let's see. I put some white pepper in here yes, and some lime and I mean salt. Can you salt. pass the salt you bet. over? Chef. Thanks. There we go. You want a nice big pinch of salt. You're looking for balance here between the sourness and the, you know, those dark roasted um, ingredients uh -huh. and the, the chili spice. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's ready to taste. Now, what about consistency? Well, I like it a little bit on the thicker side. But I think there's a variation that would be perfectly fine. Okay. Hot chili chocolate soup. Okay. Mark. Oh, okay. Spoon for you. Here we go. This looks awesome. If you find out that you've heated it up too it's much, you, you've made it too wow. spicy and you want to calm it down a little, mm -hmm. um, you could put coconut milk in it if you're trying to keep it vegan, mm. or you could uh, spoon. add a little <laughs> add a little cream and it'll soften the it's edges. Delicious. I'm kind of curious about I'm going to put that. a little more salt. Oh, that's nice. Put a little and more salt. Gretchen, a little what more would heat you, too, What would you serve that with? Like bread and crackers? and? Um, well, I'm going to put croutons and uh, some cinnamon creme fraiche on top and right. a little bit of cilantro. Here, Mark, try this. This is the this is a soup okay. having not been pureed. Okay. Wow. That, you know, that's amazing. They're both great tastes. They're delicious, yeah. Once they're pureed, what a difference. Now, like how long will soups. something like this... If, the viewers, could they freeze Very it? Very good. Yeah. Make it up and freeze it. Oh, store. yeah. Okay. Sure. So I'm going to taste that again. Okay. And then uh, <laughs> let's plate up one spoons. with your garnish. Oh, that's better. <laughs> okay. That's good. And another one that just whipped up so quickly. We are ready to serve. 
And what fun for the kids. Hey, have some chocolate, chocolate chili, soup. kids. Well, you know, that's oh, why I could sell it down. That's we why I call it, all them. That's why I call it that at the, at the restaurant instead of calling it a mole soup yeah. because people aren't prepared. And everybody gets the soup, so you put it down in front of them, and it's like chili chocolate. You say chocolate that. chili soup, I'm there. Yeah. So beautiful. Where's the whipped cream? <laughs> there, right there. Right there. Cinnamon okay. cream fresh. Okay. And a little bit of fresh cilantro leaves. Okay. Clean mm -hmm. spoon. Clean spoon, Mark. we got to try it with that. One more time? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> and some croutons. This looks beautiful. These are just uh, brown butter croutons. Yeah. Adds a little crunch. Well, we All can right. do that before you throw out the old bread at home. Make your own croutons. There you awesome. go. Awesome. Beautiful. Okay. okay. Dive in. Try it with the creme fraiche. Yeah. Double dip. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. Croutons really make it fun and exciting. The cream is very nice. Mm -hmm. It yeah. gives it a totally different flavor. The spices oh. are awesome. I could eat that every night for Thank a whole week. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's Thank great. you. Good reason to go wow. up to San Juan Islands, huh? Let's go to the Duck Soup Inn. Yes. Or better yet, let's just get the cookbook so we can have fun yeah. with this wonderful recipe that Hop Gretchen Allison boat. shared with us. Yeah, you betcha. Yep. <laughs> Hot chili chocolate soup. Thank you, Gretchen, so much Thank for coming. Thank you very much. In. Thanks for coming. Have fun. Here. Thanks. You'll love great. this Thank one. You. You'll love it. 1 800 443 1999 and online kcts9.org. KCTS9 Cooks. The recipes, the wonderful chefs, the things we learn because of your support. Thank you. Thank you very nice. much. Another recipe. It's coming. <laughs> cool.